Greetings of the day. Here are we meeting again on this pleasant day. Let's get started with our learning session for adding and managing the promotions in Magento 2. Well, in Magento 2, we are having two price rules to manage the promotion. The first one being the catalog price rule and the second being the card price rule. While browsing at the products on the catalog page before the customers can select them for their cards, we are having catalog price rules, whereas the card price rules applies to the card of the customer, where he or she has selected their product. Okay, so now it's the time to get practical with the definitions one by one. Now, firstly, in order to discuss the price rules, um, let's have a general look over our instance, which I'm taking is off watches. Here, here you see. The watches here you see on the screen are having different prices of $54, $55, and $43, and etc. Right? So the promotions we can give can be either in the term of dollars, you say $5 or $10, or it can be in the, some sort of a percentage like 10% or 20%, etc. Okay? So let's dive in into the admin panel of Magento 2 right now. And yes, here. You have to swim to the marketing section to fetch the catalog price rules under this promotions. You see, here we are having two rules here, which we uh, discuss right now: catalog and card price rule. But in our present video, we are going to discuss only the catalog price rule. So just click on this. Here you are. You are welcome to the screen of the catalog price rule. From here, we need to click this big button on the right corner saying you to add new rule. Just click on this. Here you see. Now you can see the new catalog price rule screen. Okay. Here we are having the rule information, conditions, and actions. And starting from the general information, we are have this rule name which we are taking for an instance as 10 percent of of all watch products the instance is of watches so i'm going to give 10 percent off give me a moment 10 percent off all watches products okay next is the thing called description well uh, this is all about describing your products for customers and you can skip it if you don't feel like to describe. For our instance, we use one line that these watches are made of skin friendly material. So you can um, just use it for your remembrance, whatever you want to. Okay? Or either just skip it. Next is the status. You know, the status for the promotion rule as you have to be it active in case you want the promotion rule to be live for your products. You select it active. Then moving ahead, we are having the website thing. This website is for which you want to make it live. We selected the main website. Next is the customer groups for whom we need a promotion rule to be applied as a wholesaler, a retailer, a general, guest checkout, or all of them. For our instance, we have selected all of them. Great. Now, need of the next moment is to assign the date for the option this and two. For instance, I've selected today's date, 6th of Jan, and I want the promotion rule to get deactivated by 12 right great so you can select the dates of your choice as per your requirement now the lastly but importantly we have this priority option to prioritize our promotion code giving the lower number the highest priority in case more than one coupon is applied for the single product in our instance we don't have multiple promotions running for watches so we will keep it blank now, our next time shifts to the conditions here, given as the second option of the general information. Now, for applying the conditions for the promotion, so we can choose between the all or any, you see here, all or any, or you can select true or false, right? 
this for instance applies in the sense that if all the given conditions are true okay uh, whichever we can select or true or false or it can go in second way if any of the condition here if i select if any of the conditions are true or i can select if any of the condition is false or i can say if all the conditions here are false so i'm going to select in my instances of all the conditions are true and in order to describe the conditions in a more better way you have to select the small green button you see here just click on this see now this will be giving you options from which you can define your conditions in a better sense right here you see you are having so many conditions which you can select the climate category color features gender material anything you want to in our instance we are selecting category right selecting this will make you define your category with different options firstly when we click on is click on this you see we'll see the many options here is is not contained does not contain is one off is not one off right so it is defining your conditions as per your requirement in our instance we selected simple is okay now moving ahead you see three three dots here you have to select this three dots or when you select it you'll see three signs coming on here the tick one the delete one the stick one uh, goes for the saving thing and this big blue button what is this for this is uh, selecting the category i've selected the conditions the category this one is helping me out to select the uh, category from this you have to select this here now you can see the categories right uh minus watches so i have to go under the gear and watches you see the category selected as categories three and six in numbers you have to click on this tick sign to save it here you see so if all the conditions are true the category is three and six these are my conditions which i need to be applied for my product okay now i'm moving ahead to actions now these are basically helping you to you know just formulate your pricing structure rules okay now when you're going for this uh, apply apply is the first thing now we are having four things here apply the percentage of original apply the fixed amount adjust the final price to this percentage or adjust the final price to the discount value it's just that as per your requirement calls for your product you have to select this right so i'm selecting for my thing that i need the 10 percent of my original price so i select this one okay next option is of discount amount which i have selected as 10 because i'm giving the 10 percent off right so for 20 percent off it will be 20 or 5 percent off is a 5 okay then you have to discard the subsequent rules yes or no from here great now what else important part is here now two things save and apply and save and continue it in anyhow if you're feeling that no i need or um, maybe i need to edit some of the more things in my rule you can just apply the save and continue it here you see <clears throat> so when you apply the save and continue it your rule will be saved but it will not be applied and if momentarily you feel that you won't, you are good to go with your rule and you want to save and apply and the same thing you have to use the save and apply button you can see you have saved the rule right now when we go you can see uh, we have saved 10 percent off all all watches product going back on the main screen of catalog price rule you will be seeing here your main website is having your rule as active now we see that we have updated rules that are not applied if you want to apply them apply from here apply rules like this see now the updated rules are applied now whether they are applied or yes or no we have to shift to our front end to see the change give me a moment i have to refresh the page to get the changes done Here you see, 
See, the watches have got 10% discount. $92 turned to $82.80, $45 turned to $40.50. So these are all the watches have got their discounts at the 10%. Right. So now, what's next? Next is your turn that you go and explore your Magento products in the Magento store. Right. So just go and explore your products. But wait, what if you get struck somewhere? Mm, no worries. Feel free to contact us at magento.help at the rate of metrotech.net. Let your Magento store add more to your magnetic power to allure the customer with our easy Magento help. You can even go to our website that will be www.metritech.net. I hope this session was helpful for you. Have a great time and please do leave your suggestions.